Republican voters in South Carolina running out of time to make their decision in that presidential primary. Over the next two nights, they're going to get a chance, though, to hear from those candidates directly. Ryan Noble's live in Greenville with a preview of tonight's town hall. Ryan. Yeah, hey, Ursula and Steve. Tonight we're going to hear from Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, and Ben Carson in a CNN town hall. They're going to answer questions directly from voters, and it comes at a time when the race here in South Carolina is getting ugly. The war of words is ramping up. I think a great many South Carolinians are concerned that Donald Trump is not prepared to be commander in chief. And in a state known for being respectful, two of the candidates who will be on stage Wednesday night are no longer holding back. I've been saying for a while now that Ted, unfortunately, has proven that he's willing to say or do anything to get elected. I don't think that's a positive thing to see in the president. Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz spent the day hammering each other in what appears to be a fight for second place. Polls show Donald Trump with a wide lead, and the front runner is spending his time trying to run up the score. I've been in business, and I've dealt with some pretty rough hombres, much tougher than Cruz. But I've never dealt with anybody that lied so much. Even though Trump is ahead by a lot, there's also a pretty big pool of voters who say they'll never support him. As a result, Cruz and Rubio are accusing each other of actually being like Trump. That is the result of the fact that both of those campaigns, the only thing they can do is engage in insults and attacks. The Rubio Cruz battle will be front and center Wednesday night in Greenville, and even though they won't be on the stage at the same time, it's a safe bet they will spend quite a bit of time talking about each other. What we've seen in the last few weeks is very disturbing. I, you know, I can't say I'd, up until that point I've paid much attention to it. Perhaps he's done it before, but in this race it's been apparent, especially over the last month. A fierce battle something South Carolina voters will now have to navigate before making a final decision. Uh, and as we mentioned before, it's going to be uh, Rubio, Bush, and I'm sorry, Rubio, uh, Cruz, and Carson here tonight uh, in Greenville. Then tomorrow night in Columbia, which is the state's capital, that's when we're going to hear from Jeb Bush, John Kasich, and of course the front runner, Donald Trump. Stephen Ursula? Ryan, Donald Trump sent a cease and desist letter to Ted Cruz. What was that about? Did Cruz respond today? Yeah, it's about an ad that's uh, airing on uh, television stations here in South Carolina where Cruz attacks Donald Trump's uh, changing position on abortion. It shows an old clip from him on Meet the Press where he said that he was very much pro choice. Now, Trump says that it's not an accurate portrayal of uh, how he feels about the abortion issue, uh, and he's telling Cruz to take the ad down because it's lying. Now, uh, Cruz responded by taking a look at the uh, Trump letter and daring him to sue him. Uh, just another example of how things are getting very heated here in South Carolina ahead of Saturday's vote.